It's such a nice day. South Carolina. We're in Garden City slash Myrtle's Inlet. Tide is really high this week. Um, so yeah, today we're gonna head down to Georgetown. We're gonna take a boat out and we're gonna go look for some seashells and go out to this abandoned island and have dinner there. Should be pretty exciting. Um, definitely looking forward to it. It's about a six and a half hour boat ride, so that'll be pretty cool and definitely the longest one we've ever been on. And then we will also be trying to get some cool pictures while we're there. landed on the beach and this is a completely deserted island so we're gonna go look for some seashells so I've been taking some pictures Wesley's collecting seashells but this is kind of the scene here it's very different than the beaches that we're used to in Florida um, lots of trees down here on the beach we're used to like the palm trees and sandier beaches this is really cool um definitely some unique pictures to get can't really go over there there's i guess a lot of alligators and they get very territorial if you go into where like the trees are at and on this side of the beach this is the atlantic ocean so they have a really bad shark problem in the shallow part of the water right in here so we're just kind of exploring the beach a little bit. One kind of random observation uh, that I wasn't really expecting, you do run into a lot of plastic washing up on the beach and every beach I've ever been to, you see that, but you kind of always assumed it was more like from the, the tourists on the beach or things like that. Out here, there's literally nobody's ever been out here. So this is completely uninhabited. We're the only people that have been out here I mean, the boats come out here, if you ask them to, maybe once a week, but definitely no people around here, and there's still stuff just washing in, so it kind of puts a perspective on, like, how much pollution there actually is in the ocean, which we're very aware of. Um, you know, we support a lot of different organizations that are trying to combat that. This is a really old boat, it looks like. But um, yeah, so like if you want to check out a charity that is amazing for removing um, plastics from the ocean, check out 4Ocean. Uh, I can tag them in this video as well, but they sell bracelets. They're plastic bracelets that are made with one pound of trash from the sea, each one. So every time you buy from them, you remove a pound of waste from the oceans. So I've gotten some really good pictures out here, and I'm going to go ahead and mention that I'll add them into this video because... I almost never edit my travel pictures. They always just like sit around and never get put to use. So I feel like if I say it right now, it kind of makes me be obligated. But yeah, it's really cool. Um, beautiful views. It's so awesome being on a beach with like no footprints, no people, nothing at all. And perks of it, we found some epic seashells. So Wesley has a whole bag. He found like six sand dollars. I've got a few of these shells. And we're going to head and have some lunch on the beach now before the boat comes to pick us up. All right, so we finished um, getting some seashells and dinner, and now we're headed back to South Carolina. You have fun? Yes. Yeah, what was your favorite part? The shells. <laughs> Thank you. 
so we didn't get to do an outro video for the boat ride yesterday um so what happened was we were really late leaving and the boat ended up getting stuck we ended up getting uh beached so it took a long time to get the boat out and then we weren't supposed to be out on the ocean at night but we ended up being out there in complete pitch darkness so um, weren't allowed to have phones or anything out to help with navigation, so there was no light at all coming from, you know, artificial sources. So we ended up getting back really late, and it was a great trip, but we didn't get to record anything on the way back. So, we'll end the video here. Um, I'll give you a little preview. This will be our next video. We are at an old abandoned castle from the early 1900s, so this will be our next thing. We're about to go explore.